This is tutorial number 110, and it covers the update feature within CATIA v5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the update feature. Now this feature will be used when we're creating constraints and playing around with our assemblies. So you can find the update feature right here. Now right now it's uh, not highlighted because we're, there's nothing to update right now. So what we're going to do is whenever we create a constraint in our CATIA files, the uh, update feature will be needed to update and bring those components together. So even after we do put a, a uh, constraint on there, nothing's going to move, nothing's going to change until we press update. So just to show you, I'm going to click the uh, contact constraint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this face here, and then I'm going to click this face here. Now you can see that we have a contact constraint and we have a line going from the two faces. Now you can see that the uh, update is highlighted. So now what we have to do is click update and then it's going to update and bring the components together. So when we're using all the different constraints, after you put one in, nothing's going to move until you actually use the update button. Now the update button is also able to, uh, to use on drawings, uh, parts, and sketches too. If uh, you've made a change and it hasn't happened yet, you're able to click the update. It's going to refresh everything. It's going to rebuild from the start, and it's going to rebuild either your sketch, your uh, part, your assembly, or your drawing. And that concludes our tutorial on the update feature within CATIA v5.